If you want to earn a lot of money and gold in Red Dead Online as soon as possible, you will need to focus on the most effective grinding methods, because not all money-making methods are equally good in this game. Actually, some activities that game recommends you to do are simply a waste of time. So let's rate all gold and money-making methods in Red Dead Online. Let's begin with Stranger Missions, also known as Free Roam Missions. It's basically one of the first activities that game recommends you to do. There are a lot of quest givers for such missions, all across the map, and most of them are some familiar characters from the story mode, including Sadie Adler and Sean and Trelawney, so for most beginners it will be the first type of missions that they do in Red Dead Online, and that's why many, many players are not even reaching level 10 in this game and just quitting, because Stranger missions are just bad. They don't have interesting gameplay, even by Red Dead Online standards. In many such missions, game will literally tell other players to attack you, which will be just an excuse for them to kill a low level, but the most importantly payout is just pathetic. I'm talking about Red Dead Online's dollars, because amount of gold bars that you earn is pretty much the same for most activities in Red Dead Online. And just like money and experience is based on amount of time that you spend on a mission. More time you spend, more gold, money and experience you will earn. Yes, it makes no sense. But anyway, for completing a stranger mission in 10 minutes, you will earn a around $15, and that's why people are quitting, they see this payout, they see prices in the catalog and be like, okay Rockstar, I see what you're doing here. Anyway, even with double money, stranger missions are not the best choice, and they are worth grinding only with double gold or at least triple money payouts. Next we have a land of opportunities missions, which are basically a story missions for Red Dead Online. They are much better than stranger missions, payout is almost twice higher, gameplay is much better, all these missions are little stories with cutscenes, plus there is a main story. Unfortunately, it's unfinished, but still it makes sense to complete a Land of Opportunity story at least once. However, from money-making point of view, these missions are not the best choice. It's because you cannot complete them solo and you will waste too much time for finding teammates and watching unskippable cutscenes that you're not getting paid for. Additionally, quite often you will have complete beginners in your team and it will make some missions almost impossible, like this one. Every single time I played it, there was at least one teammate who was constantly failing at this stage. So we had to restart again and again and again. Anyway, a Land of Opportunities missions can be a good grinding method only with double gold. Next we have S tier money making method, stealing or taming horses and then selling them to these brothers. You know, this type of missions that game literally teases during tutorial. Sorry, I'm just kidding, these missions were never added to Red Dead Online for unknown reason. So instead we have blood money missions, crimes and contracts. You can take them from low honor strange missions givers, but first you will have to go to Saint Denis to this area and watch some cutscene with another Red Dead Redemption 2 story character, Guida Martelli. Blood money contracts are three part missions and I know that a lot of people will be surprised right now, but I will say that it's an A tier money making method, especially for beginners, but not only, and that's because they are pretty pretty fun usually. Sometimes they have a story and cool cutscenes like Blue Waterman contract for example. Payout is relatively good, plus for completing all three missions of a contract for a first time you will receive additional bonus of $60, which will be important for beginners. But the most importantly, they take part in a private lobbies in which your trader role or moonshiner role production will not stop, unlike with Land of Opportunities, Legendary Bounty or Telegram mission private lobbies. It will be really helpful on a higher levels, and yes, it's similar to some infamous bounty missions. Additionally, in a blood money missions, you can find Capitale, which can be used to unlock opportunity missions. It's our next money making method, and I would give these opportunity missions some high rating, because payout is actually good, especially for beginners, it's on the same level as legendary bounty missions. Plus, missions are pretty fun when you're completing them for the first time, and also by completing opportunities on a ruthless difficulty, you unlock unique hacks that you can purchase from Madame Nazar. So yeah, in theory, these missions are pretty cool, but there is one big problem, Capitale. It just doesn't make sense on any level. It's super annoying because NPCs are repeating this word way too often. And the whole idea of this robbery is kinda stupid. I mean, you have to pay special currency, Capitale, to this mobster, Guido Martelli, so he will let you to steal this priceless gem, but you don't keep it. You have to return this priceless gem to Guido Martelli, 
basically for a relatively small reward. But the most importantly, grinding Capitale to replay these opportunity missions is just not worth it. So unless there are double payouts, it's a good idea to complete these opportunity missions once on a lower levels and just move on to some better money making methods. Next we have PvP showdowns and horse races. You can find them in a quick join part of a left menu. Let's begin with horse races. They're just terrible for making money or gold or experience. It's a solid tier D. And here is why. As I've already mentioned, in most missions in Red Dead Online your payout is based on a time spent. And many horse races will end in less than 3 minutes, so you will receive no gold at all and very small amount of money and experience. And even with horse races that last for 4 to 5 minutes, your payout will be pathetic, only 0.08 gold bars. And considering that you are not getting paid for cutscenes, loading screens and time between missions per hour, you will earn absolutely nothing even when there are double payouts. I mean, even if there is a triple gold, horse races are not worth it. Obviously, if you enjoy horse races, take part in them, but I'm just saying that it's not a money-making method at all. As for PvP showdowns, situation is different, and I would even say that it's a decent grinding method, especially for beginners. It's because in most PvP modes, much will last for 7 minutes, so your payout will be relatively good. And yes, unlike money and experience, amount of gold that you earn is not based on if your team will win or lose, and not based on your personal performance. It's only based on time and emission. So yeah, with double gold, which is pretty much always for featured PvP series, it's a relatively good method of grinding gold on a first roll. Next we have few money making methods from beta days. Fishing and selling fish to a butcher, hunting and selling animal carcasses or meat to a butcher as well, and gathering herbs and selling them to a doctor. Yes, you can do that too. But these methods will not bring you good amount of money. They are outdated and no one really grinds this way anymore. So it's a tier C and only because there are few achievements related to hunting and gathering that can be done relatively easy. Next we have daily challenges. Many players are saying that it's the best gold making method in Red Dead Online. And yes, it's a great method, A tier for sure, but it has one big problem. It's not that good for complete beginners, so for people who need that gold the most, it's because to make really good amount of gold from daily challenges, you need to have at least few roles, because there are three additional challenges for every role. And which is even more important, you need to have a good daily challenge streak of 14 days or more. So you need to log in every day and complete at least one daily challenge for two weeks. By the way, after 28 days, daily challenge streak resets. Anyway, complete beginners obviously cannot have a good daily challenge streak. They don't have roles yet. And actually, some daily challenges are kind of hard for beginners. And that's why daily challenges will not be that profitable for complete beginners. But I still suggest to complete at least few the easiest daily challenges every day to maintain the streak. So later you will be able to earn a lot of gold from daily challenges. Next we have looting enemies. And there is always a question, is it even worth wasting your time on looting NPCs? Because most of the time you will get like 10 cents from this action. And yes, you're not gonna earn too much money by looting NPCs, but it's still worth doing it. Because quite often you will find tonics, you will find collectible items for a collector role, even if you don't have it yet. And sometimes you will even find pamphlets that will save you a lot of money and treasure maps that will help you to earn a lot of money and gold. And by the way, searching for treasure chests is our next grinding method and it's absolutely an S tier. You receive a treasure map each 5 levels, sometimes you will find them and quite often you will receive treasure map as a reward for something from Roxer. And when you have a treasure map, it makes sense to immediately go and search for the treasure, especially if you are a beginner. Because on average, from each treasure chest, you will be getting 1.1 gold bars and more than $100, which is really good even for higher levels. And by the way, finding treasure chests is pretty easy, just use eagle eye. But if you will have some issues, I suggest you to use interactive Red Dead Online's map, where you can see all specific locations for each treasure. Link will be in the description. Next, we have telegram missions that you can start by reading a telegram or from a mailbox at your camp or even from the left menu. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I actually like telegram missions. Quite often they will have a really fun gameplay, but it's not a good money-making method at all. And yes, payout itself is 
fine, but it puts you in a solo lobby where your moonshine roll and trader roll are not producing any goods. So it's immediately no for high levels. And for low levels who don't care about trader and moonshine rolls yet because they don't have them. It's also not a good money making method just because these missions have three levels of difficulty. Standard, hard and ruthless. And you cannot choose them. So you need to complete a mission on a standard difficulty, then on a hard and then only on ruthless. And ruthless difficulty might be too difficult for beginners. So yeah, I suggest to at least try these missions. You might enjoy them, especially if you like stealth in Red Dead Online for some reason. But it's not a way to grind a lot of money and gold. Next we have random encounters. Some small events that you will find in a free roam. And it's really hard to raid them, because they're different. From absolute waste of time, like when you have to capture and deliver a bandit, or protect a campsite and earn almost nothing. To something mediocre where you have to make a photo or protect a stranger from animals and earn 10 to 15 dollars for one minute of work. And some random encounters you just don't want to miss. For example, when there is a wounded animal that you can finish off and receive a collectible item, an arrow, and especially random encounters for which you will receive a treasure map. Sometimes you will find them on the trees. And quite often you will see NPCs who will either sell treasure map for you for five dollars so you will just kill them and loot treasure map from their body. I also need to mention free roam events. Time to time you will receive an invitation to join such event and from money making point of view they are similar to PvP showdowns in my opinion. Yes, they will have double payouts way less often than featured PvP series, but there are many free roam events for roles in which you will earn not only money and gold but also something useful for that role, for example trader goods or collectible items and obviously experience for that role if you still leveling it up. Next we have call to arms mode which is technically a telegram mission but it's completely different from other activities in Red Dead Online. It's a mode where you have to fight waves of enemies and your payout is based on how many waves you will survive with maximum payout for 10 waves completed. I really like Call to Arms, it's probably the best PvE activity in the game but from money making point of view it's not that simple. It's really good if you play it with friends because you will earn some good amount of money and gold but if you are playing solo, you need to know that matchmaking technically exists, but on practice you will pretty much always start Call to Arms solo. And it will take too much time to complete it, plus you will spend a lot of tonics, so from money making point of view it's just not worth it. And I'm speaking about high levels now, because most beginners will not be able to finish Call to Arms solo at all. Anyway, the next way to earn a lot of gold in Red Dead Online is resetting awards. You can find them by opening my menu, choosing progress, then awards, and there you will see different categories, with many awards in each. Some can be completed only once, but some after reaching gold level you can reset up to 10 times, and each time you will earn 0.4 gold bars for doing so. By the way, there is one unique award for prestigious bounty hunter role, available after level 30, which can be reset infinite amount of times, and each time you will earn 0.5 gold bars and $100. But anyway, there are multiple awards that you can reset up to 10 times and I'm not suggesting you to chase these awards. Just try to reset them each time when you complete them and also time to time visit this awards category to check if you have some awards that you can reset but forgot to do it. It's also a good idea to pin some awards that you almost completed to not forget about them. Anyway, in practice you will earn some really good amount of gold bars from resetting awards so it's a top tier in my opinion. Then we have roles and you know what at first I was planning to rate each role in Red Dead Online separately but actually from money making point of view they all are really good, they all are must have and top tier. Even the naturalist, yes you can make a lot of money with help of this role if you want to. Plus since this role has wilderness camp it will help you to grind other roles like trader or collector. So yeah you want to buy all the roles in Red Dead Online and the only question is in which order you should buy them. And usually the first two roles should be Collector and the Bounty Hunter. Choose which one you want to buy first according to your preferences, then you need to buy Trader role, then Moonshiner role and only then the Naturalist role. And once you will have all the roles or at least few of them, 
making money and gold will not be a problem in Red Dead Online at all. There will be only one problem, how to spend them. And the video that you can see on your screen now will help you with this problem, because it's about 50 must-have purchases in Red Dead Online. With that being said, stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.